Take me out for some hot dogs. All right, we're on the road. And when you're on the road traveling around, a hot dog is the perfect meal. You know, I've raw dogged in West Virginia, Florida, Pennsylvania, Ohio, Chicago this year, and we're passing through Indiana. What a better place to stop for a nice hot dog for lunch. But Fort Wayne, Indiana, and they have this place in Fort Wayne. It's been here since 1914. The same time, you know, who famous opened up. But this is a Fort Wayne Pony Island stand. You know, like the Detroit Pony Island style hot dogs, we, which is usually a chili and onions and cheese thrown on it. Of course, we're gonna raw dog here, but this place has been around since 1914. It's a landmark here in Fort Wayne, the Fort Wayne famous Coney Island Wiener Stand. Yes, that's right. The Fort Wayne famous Coney Island Wiener Stand. That is the whole title of this place. It stands right here, a short way away from the courthouse. This is Main Street, Indiana, Main Street, USA. Let's see if these hot dogs are a home run. I would like one Coney Island hot dog without mustard. Of course. And I like one hot dog without anything plain. All right, we're here in Fort Wayne, stopping for lunch on the way home on our great units road trip here. And, and we're at a famous Coney Island wiener stand, Fort Wayne's famous Coney Island wiener stand. The uh, Coney Island hot dogs, that's the, uh, that is actually the brand, I believe. And uh, they were established in 1914. This place has been built by the, is run by the Shoka family, family run for decades. This is the type of place that makes hot dogs great. And we're gonna hope that these hot dogs are truly as good as they sound. This sounds like a place they have been, the guys stand right at the window making these hot dogs. So people passing by can see the hot dogs and then they get that hot dog craving and they come in and they're satisfied. They have an ancient Pepsi machine here, which has cans and bottles, ironically, of Coke. You see a Pepsi by the, uh, the fountain. So it's kind of ironic, isn't it? So they give you the choice. They give you the choice. This place wants to accommodate you. And of course they give you these two options, which I ain't doing. <laughs> so, and they got the ceiling fans. This place feels, this place feels like a throwback to a simpler time. Back, back to when Fort Wayne actually had a w, an NBA team, did you know that? The Pistons actually played in Fort Wayne in the 50s, before they moved to Detroit in 1958 or 57. So we're going to give these hot dogs a try. They're uh, grilled. They have a good charring. And uh, they, so they char on one side. You know, you got, sometimes you want to see a charge on the other. The buns are... Uh, Steam, which is always a good thing. So the steamed buns, the hot dogs, a nice little hot dog. Let's see how this rates. It's a triple. A triple of the gap, solid triple, with a headlong dive in the dirt, just ahead of the throw. Now, they say their specialty is the Coney Island dog, which is this, it's got their chili on it. And their chili, their chili in, tw in 2010, was voted best chili in Indiana. 
Well, I'll be the judge of that. It's actually that overwhelms. It's a decent chili as chili goes. Now it's starting to really hit. A little spice. I'm gonna give this a solid double. And if you're a chili lover, this might be the what you love. All right, well, when you're on the road with hot dogs, sometimes you find spots that are just as great as great can be. They're making the hot dogs in the, in the window, on, a, on like an old fashioned grill. They make hamburgers here. They have the buns are steamed. Their buns are steamed. They've been here for over a hundred years. Look at this, a hundred years. And the Aunt Millie's Bakery. I mean, this is like, this is America. Throwbacks. You know, this place has been here since 1914. It's terrific. They've been run by the same family for generations. This is what truly makes a hot dog great. And the hot dog experience great. And why I love doing raw dogging. And you'll be raw dogging with me by buying this shirt at the Barstool Store. Come on, click below. Get the shirt so you can be raw dogging with me. So when I come to your town, and you know I might come to your town one of these days, especially if you leave it down below in the comments other places I can go to. And one day, maybe I'll hit them all. I want to hit them all. I want to try them all. I love being on the road. The road is fun. The road is, and especially with Indiana, and this place is great. Fort Wayne's famous Coney Island Wheeler Sand. It's right on Main Street, right in the heart of America. And this is what raw dogging is truly about. Keep raw dogging, America. Take me out for some hot dogs. Get me one that's only plain. No mustard or horror ketchup. I'll know what the dog is really about in its hope. That this is a good one, maybe a home run or a double. But if it sucks, it will be a strikeout and not worthy of my taste buds. <laughs> jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Go raw dogging and don't put anything on your dog. Yes, that's right. It's raw dogging season. And you know what makes raw dogging season even better? This ugly sweater. Tell your friends to buy it for you. Or buy it for yourself. You know, nothing is better than a Christmas gift from you to you.